Today I want to teach you a really, really quick meditation that can help you handle anger. And it's from the Kundalini Yoga Heritage. And I'm going to follow up with that meditation at the end of this video because I want it to help you with your mother wound. A lot of my clients of all ages are coming to me and telling me about the issues they still have with their mother. And this is because, I mean, many of my clients are about to become pregnant, and so they're working on clearing these issues before they have a child in order to conceive consciously and not pass on those generational patterns to their children, which is wonderful. But um, you need to understand that 90% of your problems, even if you're not even aware you have a mother wound or issues, 90% of your problems come from not forgiving your mother or your father. Pretty much because the patterns that, you know, up until the age of seven, basically we are taking in everything like a movie and everything good or bad is being programmed into us, into our subconscious. And then we continue to play out those programs throughout our lives. And, and the same people will keep repeating over and over and over again in this play of life. And so those problems you had with your parents at a younger age, you know, maybe you didn't, you weren't attached to your mother. She never um, attached with you or you, they yelled or they fought or they separated or whatever happened. That's going to play out in different roles throughout your life with different people. And then a lot of people still blame that on their mother and they still even have real issues that are still happening with their mother, even when their mother's dead. <laughs> Even when their mother's not alive or their father's not alive, I say, you know, they're not alive anymore. Why are we going over this? And we have to because it's not healed inside of them. So when we start to look at our, ourselves in the mirror and we start to recognize all the issues that come up, we can clear those generational patterns for so many more generations to come, especially if you're going to have a child. And this is really, really important because we don't, we can be the last the last, the last people to do it. We don't have to have all the generations following having to go through the pain that we did, right? So a good example of clearing generational issues came with a client I had a, a client I've been working with and she had two miscarriages. And I asked her, I saw that in her uh, generational line, she had a grandmother that had also had two miscarriages and some other, it goes up, it went up in her family tree. I saw this in my mind's eye. And I said, go ask your mother if other people in your family had had multiple miscarriages. And she, they had. And so she, we went through the process of healing this deeply within her. We changed her career. We changed her her outlook at life, her ability to meditate, her relationship with food, her relationship with her health, her relationship with herself and with the universe. And she healed from these mis miscarriages and is on the road to consciously conceiving and to have her third baby that will actually not take on this, the, you know, the same issues, you know, that she would have given this first baby. And she knows that she did that for her family. She chose to be the one to clear it all. And if you're listening to this video, you're likely doing the same thing. And that's super powerful. So this meditation, it's called Fists of Anger. And you can do it for three minutes. That's it. It's so powerful. Just three minutes a day. In the morning, you can do it again in the nighttime. And it's anything angry that's coming up for you, like... Um, Anything around your family, around your friends, around your mother, around your father. Um, you take your your thumb and you place it on uh, the, the mound below your pinky and you close your fingers. And then you make an O-shaped mouth. My eyes are going to go up and in at my third eye when I close them. I can tune in three times before I start saying, Ong Namo Gurudev Namo. This is in my book, mystical motherhood and it's also that um it's also in other videos on my youtube channel on mysticalmotherhood.com so you tune in three times ong namo guru dev namo and then thumb goes to pinky finger close o-shaped mouth is breathing out and i'm thinking of everything that makes me really 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 angry and it can be specific about your mother Anything that makes you mad that she's done to you in the past, in the future, any projections over your arc line. For three minutes, 
Then I stretch my palms up and over my head. I take three deep breaths in and I expand my auric field and creating a white light all around me. And I ground my energy back down and that's it. It helps with anger uh, up to three minutes all day long <laughs> or just once a day. Good luck and write in to mysticalmotherhood.com for any questions and you can find more meditations like this in my book, Mystical Motherhood, which is available on Amazon. Thank you.